Hello, yeah, in this R lab, uh, we're gonna talk about uh, objects in R, okay? Uh, so remember this very important statement. In R, everything is treated as an object, okay? So the concept of object is very, very important. Basically, um, objects are created for storing different types of data in different uh, structures, okay? So they're, they're for storing data, but they, you have different ways to put them together. We call data structures. Um, that provide a lot of flexibility for us to store data and process data, analyze data, okay? Uh, objects in R can be broadly categorized into various types, such as uh, vectors, lists, matrices, arrays, data frames and functions, okay? Uh, of course, you can create more complicated objects. Uh, for example, you can have uh, uh, lists of uh, matrices, for example, or you can have a list of uh, matrix, uh, data frame, and function. You, know, you can put them, uh, put them into different combinations, okay? All right, uh, let's uh, take a look at some examples. The first uh, uh, type of object is called a vector. Uh, a vector is a basic data structure in R that contains elements of the same type. It can be of a type numeric, integer, logical, character, or complex. Okay, So basically, this is similar to uh, the vector concept in mathematics, uh, but uh, uh, it's more broad. It's not just numerical. Okay. So first, let's create a numerical vector using 1.5 to 0.5, so If you print it out, it looks like that, okay? The second example is we can create a temperature vector. So you have, you have a, apple, banana, cherry. Uh, you put them together using the command C, but you have to use uh, double quotes uh, around these names. So character vector, you print it out, it looks like uh, and of course, you can do logical vectors using true and false. You have true, false, true. Uh, put them together, you get a logical vector. And print it out, look like that. Okay. Uh, second type of uh, um, object in R uh, are called lists. A list in R can contain elements of different types, okay, including other lists. So you, you can have a list of lists. Uh, it is a flexible data structure that can hold various types of objects. Okay. So it's pretty powerful. Uh, so here, uh, the example is uh, you create a list uh, with name, uh, age, and scores. Okay. So they look like this. So you can see there's three parts, name, age, uh, and scores. And if you want to access uh, the elements of the list, uh, in particular, a specific uh, element, you can use the dollar signs. For example, you can say my list dollar sign name, it will give you the name John, or my list dollar sign scores, it will give you the scores. Okay. Okay, the next object is matrices. Uh, that's very really important in mathematics. Uh, a matrix is a two dimensional data structure. Uh, where all elements are of the same type, okay? It is essentially a vector with dimensions, okay? So you get number of rows and number of columns, okay? In a two-dimensional uh, data structure, uh, like we call tables, okay? So, okay, so for creating matrix, you use the command matrix. So here you can see matrix one, to nine, so the elements will be one, two, three, four, five, six, nine, six, eight, nine. And number of rows is three, number of columns three, so you get a three by three matrix. And if you print it out, it looks like this. Okay, so one, two, three. Uh, so it uses the value first to fill out the columns and then fill out the, uh, uh, fill out the rows and then the columns. So here, if you want to access a specific element, you use kind of its coordinates here. For example, you want uh, first row, second column, that element uh, is four, right? Okay, 
uh, the next type of objects is uh, arrays. And an array in R can be thought as a multidimensional generalization of matrices. Arrays can have more than two dimensions. So if you had categorical data, there's uh, like a uh, two-dimensional table, but you can also have three-dimensional or even like multi-way tables. So it's arrays sort of like that. Uh, so here you have, uh, you can create a three-dimensional array. Uh, so use the command array. Uh, the elements are 1 to 12. So dimension now you have C, 2, 3, 2. So you get uh, 2 by 3 uh, matrix, and you get a 2 of them. So, uh, so here you get um, create the array and print them out. If they look like this. And if you want to access array elements, then you need to uh, use the three-dimensional uh, coordinates, so one, two, and one. So you want the first, um, you know, in the first matrix, and then it's a row, number, a first row and the second column, which is number three here. Okay. Okay. Now data frames. Uh, a data frame is a table or two-dimensional array-like structure where each column can contain different types of data. So if you think matrices are too uh, restrictive, then data frames are much more flexible. Okay, And uh, a data frame is similar to a spreadsheet or SQL table. Okay? So, so that's why they are very popular. Uh, to create a, a data frame in R, you can use data.frame. And then just simply put a different uh, uh, columns so name, age, score. Uh, you get a name as Alice, Bob, Charlie. Age is 23, 30, 25. Score is 89, 92, and 85. Uh, and you use that to create a data frame, print it out. It looked like this. Okay. So it looked like uh, a matrix, but uh, the elements can be different types. Okay. Uh, then to access the um, data frame elements, uh, for example, you just want access to the names. You can just use a dollar sign, the name, uh, and then print data frame uh, the first row. You want the first row elements. Then this gives you the first row, Alice 23 and 89. Okay. Okay. Uh, number six is. Uh, for factors. The factors are used to represent categorical data and it can be ordered or unordered. Okay, so so that really we are trying to deal with different type of data. So for categorical data we use particularly factors. Okay. So here this is an example for creating a factor. So factor you got high, median, low, median, high. So create that and print it out. You can see uh, it tells you um, the va uh, the values and uh, the levels. There are three levels: high, low, medium. Okay. All right. Um, so here, if you want to check uh, the levels of the factor, you use the command the levels. We we'll print it out. It tells you there's three levels here. Uh, number seven is function. Uh, functions are objects in R that perform specific tasks. Uh, you can create your own function or you can call the built-in function. Okay. To create uh, your own function, you can use uh, command function, uh, parentheses, you could input x, and then uh, you know you can write uh, what you want to do, what operations you want to do on x. So here you got x squared and you want to return it. So that's the output. So if you write a function like this, then the function will be um, in the uh, in R. Um, and then if you want to use it, uh, say you want to uh, plug in x equal to 4 and see what is the value of 4 squared, and print it out is 16. 